Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here again with Iowa Gun Owners, giving you guys a weekly recap video on the fight for constitutional carry law here in the State House. Guys, we have some major developments to report to you on the fight to pass constitutional carry. First of all, the bill was assigned a, a bill number this week. Senate File 2106 is now the bill number assigned to constitutional carry, Senate File 2106. Secondly, I mean, guys, we've been here before. You know, gun bills get assigned to committee all the time. But in the past, under the chairmanship of Steve Sodders and his boss, Senator Mike Ronstall, these bills would be assigned a committee. They would sit there and they would languish and they would die. This is a whole new era though down here in Des Moines. And chairman of this committee now is Brad Zahn and Brad Zahn is no Steve Sodders. And it's, uh, it's Chairman Zahn just this week assigned this bill to a subcommittee featuring Senator uh, Jason Schultz, Senator Jeff Edler, and Senator Janet Peterson. These three people are on the subcommittee who are gonna take up this bill, we believe as early as this Thursday at 8 a.m. That may possibly change. If it does, we'll put that on, on, out on our Facebook page and out via email. But we believe right now that Thursday at 8 a.m., this bill will be taken up in front of a subcommittee, and we believe it should likely pass as two of the three members in the committee have co-sponsored this very bill. And Senator Schultz and Edler have stood up for gun owners in the past in our fight to pass stand your ground law last year. Guys, I can't tell you how much of an accomplishment this is uh, in, in this fight to pass constitutional carry. It is so common to see gun bills assigned to a committee and have them languish and die. They're coming out of committee now and coming into the subcommittee process because this is a very, very hot issue down here in Des Moines and politicians know it. They're getting the phone calls, they're getting your emails, they're hearing from you at forums on Saturdays. Guys, you are making this happen. So, if you wanna be involved in this fight directly and come down to Des Moines and see this uh, subcommittee process play out this coming Thursday at 8 a.m., as far as we know, you're welcome to do so. We'll be out here in force with a bunch of our guys, and in fact, if you guys, if you guys know or follow gun owners, of Amer gun owners of America at the national gun rights scene, you all know the name Larry Pratt. And uh, as of right now, Larry Pratt will also be out here in the State House testifying in support of constitutional carry next Thursday at 8 a.m. So guys, if you want to come on out here and meet uh, Larry Pratt, if you want to meet Senator Bertrand, some of the guys who are helping to pass this bill, you are welcome to join us again this coming Thursday at 8 a.m. And again, guys, in the meantime, continue to make the phone calls and send emails to your lawmakers and urge them to support this bill in the subcommittee, in the committee, and on the full Senate floor. And don't fall for all the hype and all the lies. Constitutional carry will not put guns in the hands of criminals. It could never do that, obviously. Constitutional carry will not invalidate your current shall issue permit. You will not lose the right to travel across the state lines. We're not doing that. And constitutional carry, last but not least, will not lead to more blood in the streets. This is the same crap that we hear from anti-gun lawmakers every single year. We heard this back when shall issue became law back in 2010. We heard this for the last number of years in our fight to pass stand your ground law, which of course, as you guys know, happened in 2017. We're in the same thing now. And guess what? They were wrong every single time because law abiding gun owners here in Iowa are not the problem. We're not the ones who are, who are assaulting people and who are committing crimes. Pretty obvious, right? So don't fall for those, uh, those lies when you talk to your lawmakers if they say they don't want to support constitutional carry. That's all we have for you today, guys. Again, this is a tremendous uh, step forward in our fight to pass constitutional carry. It is due in large part to your emails. It is due in large part to a friendly caucus that we have here in Des Moines right now, but we are a long ways from finishing this fight. That's all we have for right now. Much more to come next week. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.